Hello fellow modelers, today we're going to build the 148 scale Hasegawa Nakajima C6N1 Scion Mert. After the primer, I painted the lower fuselage with light grey. Once I've done masking the lower fuselage, I painted the base color using dark green and added highlights using Russian green. A brief history about this aircraft. This is the carrier-based reconnaissance plane with a top speed of 350 knots, making it one of the fattest aircraft at the time. I found the shape of this aircraft was sleek and elegant so I decided to build it. When removing the blue tack, if it leaves any residue, just clean it with a bigger chunk of blue tack. Any overspray will be cleaned later on. The upper markings of the wings was painted entirely. I'm only using the decal for the tail number and the marking on the lower wings. And here is the result after the gloss coat. Now, I spray chipping fluid and a thin layer of highly diluted Nakajima green, followed by highly diluted white. This is to create color variations for the paint job. After that, I use a brush, or in my case, a toothbrush, to scrub up the paint. By combining multiple shades of green and white, this will create the wearing effects and light scratches to the surface. After that, I use a sponge with steel color to create some chipping. Then I refine those chipping areas with a fine brush. Next, I did some fading effects using oil pressure flash and dark green, and as usual, I worked and planted in small areas at the time. After flat coating, I pin wash it with black panel light. I know the flat coating before pin washing will make the washes hard to clean. However, I want it to stick to the surface a bit, not completely wiped away by the closed surface. That is why I apply the washes with care. Then, using a brush or a cotton bud moistened with enamel thinner, I clean the washes.
And here is the result. I did tint each panel with highly dilute black to emphasize the shading a little bit. Now I move on to painting some other parts of the model. As you can see, I painted the first layer of black to the canopy because this will give a feeling of depth to it. Once that was done, I move on to painting other colors same as the model itself. I painted those light indicators using clear acrylic paint. And last but not least, stress spur rigging to make those wire. With the help of super glue and super glue accelerator, I was able to glue it. There you have it, the C6N1 Scion. If you like my work, please leave a like and a comment down below. Feel free to tell me anything that I can do to improve it in the future. Subscribe to my channel if you wish to see more content like this in the future as well. And if you want to support me even further, my PayPal is in the description down below. And as always, I love you all and I will see you in my next video.